Do you think we got it? I think we did. I realized I was looking in this. Oh well. <laughs> What's good? Today I am here with <laughs> Today I am here with Miss Morgan Lindsay. We are doing a uh, you know a bit of a YouTube collab. We're doing the VR. TMI tag. Right so here. we are answering 25 questions of the tag on my channel and we're answering 25 questions on the, my channel. On her channel. Yes. So you can click right here. Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to be cute but your hand was in the way. <laughs> it's juicy. <laughs> Okay, so question number one. What are you wearing? <laughs> um, today I am wearing a vintage like grandma scarf that I got at <laughs> American Vintage. I think it has uh, some flowers and donkeys. <laughs> Literally, there's a donkey. I'm not even kidding. This is like from El Salvador or something. <laughs> and I'm wearing a Vita Kush Los Angeles chain and a misguided wrap top with this like lace bralette top that is underneath, so cute. and these hoops from Topshop, and no shoes. No shoes. This is an Asian household, we don't, <laughs> we don't do that No here. shoes allowed. <laughs> what are you wearing today? I am wearing a Wu-Tang <laughs> shirt, <laughs> and I am wearing some... <laughs> She's wearing short shorts. Shorts that I used to work out in, and no shoes. Have you ever been in love? With myself. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like I've become in love with myself. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been in love, so there's that. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? I feel like all of my breakups were terrible just because of the immaturity. Just being young and doing stupid things and... Young and dumb. Young and dumb. I mean, at the time they were terrible breakups, but like now thinking back at it, I know. it's like thinking back whatever. at it, they weren't that <laughs> terrible at all. We just made them to be more ridiculous than they had to be. Any tattoos? No, but I want one. Where? Um, I don't know where yet, but I feel like somewhere on my arm that can be hidden. Mm. Yeah, for purposes for of work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but I really want a smiley face. Just a little like the standard smiley face. Like colored or just like that outline? Just the outline. Yeah, I feel like color fades and yellow on my skin oh, is kind of yeah. <laughs> like yellow on really deep yellow warm skin. on yellow. Yellow on yellow. <laughs> I do not have any tattoos, and I'm not sure if I would want to get. One. I'm thinking. I've been thinking of getting um, like a tattoo in henna. Um, no, in bye bye in. It's like the um, script of the ancient Philippines before they were colonized by the Spanish. That's really cool. Yeah, but I'm not, I don't know. If I want to get it done, I want to get it done like in the Philippines. That would be really where cool. Where they do like... It'd be like a whole experience. Yeah. That's a vlog for you. Yeah. Um, Any piercings? Why does it say OTP? <laughs> <laughs> I have my ears pierced here and then cartilage and I had my nose pierced, but I took it out. I have my nears, my nears. I have my ears pierced, and I also used to have a nose piercing because wow. I wanted on to the be same like, side? yeah, I wanted to be like Tupac. So <laughs> it's like, I did not want to be like Tupac. <laughs> I wanted a part of my Indian culture, so I wanted to get it pierced, just like traditional Indian women, and that's how I did it. When I was 16, in a mall piercing pagoda, and they pierced my nose with a gun, which now I know is not supposed mm. to happen. It's supposed to be a needle, but they literally stuck the piercing gun in there. Ooh, I got mine done at a tattoo shop, and he was like, we are not using a gun, and I was like, great, thank you for knowing what you're doing. <laughs> that's good. Can you please tell me what OTP is? So, one true pairing is like, it's like a fandom thing, so like, Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like your bias in K-pop? Yeah, I guess, okay. yeah. Yeah, let's, let's change this to bi your ultimate bias, okay? Ultimate bias. But I would say G-Dragon, for sure. From Just because like I love things. his style and his individuality. And Didn't you interview them one time? I did. Yeah, he cool. sat very close to me. Ooh. I know some people will say like actual anime characters, which kind of freaks me out because they're a, a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> You're like silent. I, I was gonna say cartoon. No, because like, <laughs> no, Haleta and I were talking about this and we were like, oh, no. honestly, when I was little, Aladdin was so hot. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a, like an Indian fetish, like a Desi <laughs> fetish. Honestly, I went to Haleta, our mutual friend's house, and they were talking about how Dev Patel is I so love hot. Dev Patel. And who is the one Bollywood star that you're obsessed with? Oh, I had a huge crush on Shah Rukh Khan growing up. <laughs> 
like eight years old and I was like, I love it. <laughs> I watched like all his movies. When I was seven and eight years old, I was obsessed with Bruce Willis and Kevin Bacon. Bruce Willis in The Fifth Element. I thought he was just like so- Oh, that was a good movie. So masculine and like saves the day with all these aliens. My dream, basically. <laughs> Save me, Bruce Willis. <laughs> Save me, Bruce Willis. Favorite bands. This like, sounds like such a 2009 question. Who's your favorite band? Who's your favorite band? Jonas Brothers. <laughs> oh, Tame and Paula. Yeah, favorite I love, band. Yeah, yeah, okay. I love Tame and Paula. Tame and Paula. Yeah. Never mind. That's my answer Forget too. Everything else I said. Or like Bonnie Vare. I love Bonnie Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something you miss. I miss being a kid and not having to worry about anything. I miss not paying bills. That's what I miss. <laughs> I second that. <laughs> favorite song. I hate this question. Me too. Uh, this is designer panda. <laughs> panda, panda, panda. I got problems in the life. <laughs> kiss it better by Rihanna. I listen to it every single day. <gasps> I love it too. Kiss it, kiss it better, baby. I really like Banks' "Warm Water Snake Kips" remix. I would say that's my favorite song. Zodiac sign. What sign do you think I am? I feel like you're a Taurus. <gasps> Got it! I know that your birthday just passed, so you're a Gemini? Just like the greats. Same. <laughs> Tupac, Gemini. Biggie, Kendrick Lamar, Kanye. Whoa, wait, they're all Gemini? Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. There's something in the water. <laughs> when you launch Legends. your career. <laughs> no, I'm Aries. Oh. Uh, How lovely. Yeah. How lovely. Quality, Quality you look, look for in a partner. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> <laughs> number one. <laughs> It says quality, so one quality. We can only choose one? <laughs> I'm gonna give you multiple ones because I cannot choose one. Okay. Okay. Qualities I look for. He has to be <clears throat> funny. Okay. He has to be ambitious. He has to be passionate about something. Like literally like underwater basket weaving. Just underwater basket. He's passionate about something. He has his own thing going on, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. He's hardworking. Not just a scrub. Yeah, he's hardworking and tall is a nice quality. <laughs> I would say, I agree with a lot of the ones that you said. I would say a big one for me is a strong sense of themselves and who mm, they are. That's I, a good I, one. I, I can't. Like secure in themselves. Yeah, yeah. self security and also knowing like who you actually are. I like a really strong, consistent personality. So that's number one for me. Number two good is answer. definitely be ambitious and mm -hmm. be passionate about something. Um, I personally prefer somebody within the entertainment industry. Mm, me too. Uh, wow, that's a first. Usually most girls prefer to be with somebody who like, I don't know, is an architect or- No, I prefer someone who <laughs> An engineer. It. Would you date a rapper? Uh, no. Yeah. Would you date a rapper? Uh, I wouldn't, I- <laughs> Is there a rapper that you'd like to date? There's like- <sighs> Is there a rapper that's trying to date you? If there is a <laughs> person that fits those qualities and he happens to be, be a, a rapper, rapper, then I'll- Is his I'll... name Drake? <laughs> I feel like you're definitely talking about a specific person, Asia. I don't think that I am. Rapper just kind of like, I think of a lot of different things. Just like a lot of characteristics that would drive me crazy. Like, it's, a, it's a lifestyle. It's definitely it's a, lifestyle a lifestyle that I'm not interested in at all. <laughs> favorite actor? Gene Wilder is my favorite actor. Original Willy Wonka. I just love him. He's so like unique. I really love Kate Blanchett. I think she's amazing. I have um, <clears throat> two favorite actors right now. Uh, one is Gina Rodriguez. Mm. Uh, she's on Jane the Virgin. I love that show. I she's, haven't seen it. She's an amazing actress. Really? I love her so much. And I really have been loving Tom Holland. He is the new Spider-Man. Oh, he's I the, didn't know that. Yeah, he's the new teen Spider-Man. Teen, teen Peter Parker. Ooh. Um, I saw him. I watched The Avengers and he did such a great job. I'm so excited I'm for... I'm Googling who this is. I'm so excited for so, Spider-Man. He so was great. Detached. And also John Boyega and Dev Patel. How do you go from Dev Patel to a rapper? <laughs> I'm so confused. Favorite color? Uh, gold. That's a, yeah, that's a good answer. Gold, for sure. Pink is my favorite color. Loud music or soft? Loud! <laughs> oh my gosh, why would I listen to soft music? You know, I prefer soft music. Sometimes I get in my friend's car and they're like, turn the volume up. I'm like, I literally want to die. <laughs> Where do you go when you're sad? I go to Netflix. I go and eat chocolate. <laughs> How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Oh, uh, forever. It takes me like maybe 20 minutes to do my makeup because I don't usually wear like a lot of makeup. Oh, I was just talking about clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Number 23, ever been in a physical fight? 
No, but I, when I was on a soccer team one time, when I was a little pee, uh, a little pee, a little pee, my uncle told me to run with my elbows out like this <laughs> and um, run by like our arch nemesis on the other team. And I did that and I knocked her out. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Shout out to my uncle. Turn on. Tall. Tall? <laughs> I'll just take anything tall. I think a very dynamic, strong personality. Like a like a dominant personality or like Yeah. A like somebody who just like is really hard to ignore. Like wow, you have to pay attention to that person. Ooh, I would hate that. Um <laughs> <laughs> But I mean if he was tall then I could handle it. <laughs> Turn off. Insecurity. Definitely. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I, I can't handle insecure. Um, insecurity is really <clears throat> a, just a dagger. <laughs> right, there. right there. For me, a turnoff would be... In the city of LA, there's um, a dog. lot of low quality people. <laughs> so a turnoff for me are people who live in this city and aren't working towards anything. I like agree. they have no goals. They're kind of just like partying, just Honestly. hanging around, not really accomplishing anything. So that's my turn off. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember you can view the other half of the questions over here on Morgan's channel. You can click right here, watch the video. No, you can click here to watch the video and then you can click here to go to her channel no and subscribe. Way. <laughs> we are Australians now. <laughs> Sorry, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out her channel and video and we'll see you guys next time. Peace!